taking a look at a little bullnose transmission. It's the bell housing. Here's your uh, throw out bearing support arm, release arm. Sits on there and moves out into the clutch. And this one, it uh, all of a sudden, it was like the cable was breaking or stretching. It just kept gaining free play, didn't matter what you did. We actually pulled it out and uh, looked like the clutch pressure plate was bad. And uh, you couldn't tell by looking here that this arm had started to break. It wasn't until we compared it to another bell and you could see that how much further this arm sits down at an angle further than this one. This one sticks way up. And it was actually bending, breaking right in here. And you could take and that was an upgrade that you could do to them where you can take and weld this up along in here as you rebuild when you have the tranny out, weld it and make it stronger so that doesn't break. That was a I'm sure I saw a bulletin from back in the day on that. I did talk to Bud Clark and he confirmed that's an issue that was seen back in the day. So if you've got a bull nose or a uh, sonnet two stroke, anything that has a cable operated clutch, that would be a good thing to do if you have the tranny out to add some extra weld on the bottom there to avoid that type of issue. Because this would be a, uh, other than using freewheeling, it would stop you dead in the road. Um, I was happening to uh, crank the car in gear to start it and drive away and then use freewheeling to shift once I got on the road. It broke down while I was traveling. So that's all I got today. Tom Donnie signing off. All right, here's the uh, corrected version where we've taken and welded everything up. See that all right? But we've actually added some gussets right there too to it. It's kind of overkill, but uh, it won't bend again, I guarantee you that. The boys here, when they beef something up in the tranny shop and torque converter department, they beef it up. So that would be your fix. That'd probably be something good to do on any Sonnet 2 two-stroke. And then obviously all your bull noses is to at least weld around the bottom of the arm if you have the tranny out. That would probably be sufficient. So Tom Downey from Fort Dodge, Iowa, signing off. Have a safe day driving your old Saab. Bye.